Alright, today is Wednesday. I hope everybody's having an enjoyable Wednesday. I started off this morning trying to have to fix the YouTube comments again. YouTube uh, disabled my content comments again and I had to go through a number of hoops and menus to get it back. And I think they're back for now, but the next video you're not sure. Maybe even this one. No idea. And like I said, I tried to get work done early and go to the post office and the post office couldn't figure out my package because I got a clerk that hasn't worked and in a long time uh, they deliver so I have to take it back in an hour or two I have no idea it's, ugh, headache after headache and road construction down the road back and forth it just one thing after another it just it's not, it's not even one o'clock yet it's only barely twelve but I got one eBay package in and this is a pretty good one there for all you people who collect golf again and um, let's try to do this in the order that I have uh, laid it out here. So this one was probably the most expensive one. It was not expensive at all, but this is Billy Casper. I believe he's a Hall of Famer and he died in 2015. So for my 20, uh, sorry, my uh, 1992 set, um, that will be a great addition to that one. I think he's got probably five or ten cards that I probably need. So on the lookout for those. Keith Clearwater um, I'm not sure if anybody has gotten him in recently, but I couldn't find any recent date on him. Hasn't signed in a long time from what I could tell. So it was dirt cheap for, I think, for $2 for this one. I had to get it because trying to figure out where Keith Clearwater was, the last person that tried him got an RTS from some address. So 2 bucks was a heck of a deal for that one. Then I got, um, this person died in 2007. I think he's a Hall of Famer as well, Gay Brewer. And, um... Not sure if he... I, th I think he's a Hall of Famer. So there is that one. Um, these are all 1992. Another good one here is uh, Bob Estes. And you're like, why do you get Bob Estes? Well, this was $2. And the thing about Bob Estes is I have none of his cards. And the reason I have none of his cards is because over two years ago I wrote to him and got nothing back. So um, that happened. So I figured, well, for $2 I'd get Bob Estes. And I still need a few more cards for my set. I don't know how many of the him I need. Not sure if he's a good signer, but I didn't get him back for whatever reason. The last card here is not a huge lot here, but I got Bruce Fleischer. And again, Bruce Fleischer, well, is he a good signer? Well, probably, but uh, he died in 2021, of September, so last year of September. So he is uh, since deceased. He was born in 1940. Eight, I believe it's what it says here. So not super ancient in his 70s. Um, so there is that one. So Fleischer is deceased, Brewer and Casper. And then, so those are three that are really big ones off my list here. And Clearwater and um, Estes. Unfortunately, these will not fill a page, but really neat to have those in my collection. And it shows you can get stuff around two, three, four, five dollars uh, without any shipping. And thank you for watching.